Hello, good evening, Southern, or good afternoon, Southern Solitaire FM. Um, I'm going to be finishing the Smoky, Mount, the Smoky Mountain National Park Disappearance Series. Um, I was going to upload the last three tonight, or yesterday night, but um, I had done a personal and then those three, and by the time I upload all of them, it was like three, two, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. So I went ahead and decided to finish these last three um, this afternoon, and so I can go ahead and start the new um, series I'm going to be doing tonight. So, um, and it is a shorter series, so um, it won't be um, six cases connected to the series, but it'll be more um, three people were involved. Um, so, that's what I'm going to be working on for later on tonight. And then the la uh, yesterday, who we left on that was missing person number three that disappeared in the Smoky Mountain National Parks was... Um, on September 25th of 1981, she was 58 years old. Her name was Thelma Paulina Melton, but her friends called her Polly. She was hiking with two of her friends on the trail. She was very familiar with the trail. She hiked on it for over 20 years. So um, her friends said when they had turned the corner, she was a little bit ahead of them, but she was already gone. She was also known to have medical issues, that, and so she had high blood pressure and diabetes, so they don't think that she could have ran off. So that is the last reading we did yesterday, since that was, like I said, she was the third person to disappear in, um, 1981 in this area. The first person was Dennis Martin, and he was six years old, and that was in 1969. Um, the second person was... Uh, Trini Lynn Gibson. She disappeared on October 8th of 1976. Uh, the third p person was the person I just explained. Um, her name was Thelma, uh, but everybody called her Polly. So now we'll be moving on to person that is missing that disappeared number four. Um, they are considered missing, but the thing is, they kind of just vanished. Like nobody really knows what happened, and there's no trace of where they went or or there anything. There's no, there's not really any traces of anything. Um, so it is kind of, they just kind of up and disappeared and vanished. So, um, but the missing, we're going to be doing missing person number four from the Smoky Crown, <laughs> Smoky Crown, the Smoky Mountain, uh, National Parks, um, disappearance series. So his name, it, it happened in 2008. His name is Michael Heron. He lived in the park. Uh, he, um. He was living in the area of the park, the campsite, for a little while with his family. I think I don't know if they were just traveling through it and they stayed there for a while or if they were living there permanently in some type of, you know, RV home or something like that. I'm not quite sure. All I know is it says is that he lived in the park area. And it said that he had drove off, told his family goodbye, and then he never came back. They later found his truck not too far off the campsite, still running, but he had vanished. There was no struggle. Um, nothing was left behind. He had um, nothing was taken. Uh, I want to say he had a wallet that still had money in it. Um, and then also um, on that one, again, like I said, when they said they went to go to the scene, it looks almost like he kind of just got out of the car and walked away and kind of just left the car running. And that's kind of what was odd about it because, you know, who just gets drives off to the side of the road, leaves their car running and walks away. So, um, we're going to go ahead and try to t uh, tap into Michael Heron and see what happened the day that he disappeared um, in the Smoky Mountain uh, National Park and what happened with the truck and how he it, how the truck ended up being left where it was and how he feels about it now, where he is. I guess it just happened in 2008. So, we're going to ask his spirit guides. Oh, it's stuck. We're going to ask his spirit guides to join with my spirit guides, as long as Arch Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel um, Raphael. And then we're going to ask for a source to come in. And then all, um, all other angels and anything else that can help us get some clarity on the situation as to where uh, Michael might have gone. Or um, why. Why was his truck left there running and um, with the door open and the key in the ignition? Like... What happened since there was no struggle at the scene? So we're gonna go ahead and cut it again. Here's so we're gonna ask him what happened that morning that he left, what happened with the truck, and how he feels now. All right, Michael, we are going to ask you if you could please come in with your spirit guides, combine with my spirit guides, and go ahead and give us a little bit of an explanation of what happened that morning that you went missing. You are number four amongst of six that went missing in the smoky. Mountain National Park area. So, um, 
and this has been going on since 1969, and you went missing in 2008. So can you please tell us what happened the day that you were driving off in the truck? Where were you going? Did everything feel okay? Was there anything about that day that was abnormal? Can you tell us anything about that day? The death cycle ended. So when he... Um, this is really almost before he even left. So I don't know if this was his original exit point, and that's why the death cycle showed up first ending. But it is saying that a cycle came to an ending, and um, in this case, he kind of disappeared. So, rather, he was, if it wasn't his life, he chose to walk away from something. So, that we'll see as we get further in what it was that made him want to walk away from something. So, why is a death card here in reverse for the day that you left that morning? The Queen of Pentacles. So, um, the Queen of Pentacles is here for the death cycle ending. So, basically, he ended a cycle for the Queen of Pentacles, which can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but that could be another woman. I do know that he was married, from what I believe, and I do think he had a son also. So, um, let's see why the Queen of Pentacles is here for the morning that you went missing, and why is, she death, why is it here with uh, death in reverse? Yeah, um, there's, like, lying, stealing cheating, manipulating going on. I'm kind of starting to feel like he went missing on his own, to be honest. Um, I hate to say that because I don't know. But just from what I see, he ended a cycle with for another um, queen-like energy, but it was a manipulative, lying, cheating, kind of not-so-good cycle. So let's kind of go ahead and see um, why the truck was left running and, and if there was any struggle or if he just walked away from the truck. All right, so can you show me what was happening with the truck that morning? Why did they find your truck running by itself? Who were you? What happened with your, and your truck? What happened to you and your truck? Why was it running? Yeah. I feel like he kind of chose to leave. Like I said, because here's the five of cups in reverse, which means he was coming out of this. Like if you look, at, If you flip it this way, it's feeling sorry for yourself because you're not able to overindulge in all these things and all these cups that you want to. But he decided that morning he was done with feeling that way and he was going to come out of the grass as greener on the other side and, and pay attention to, um, you know, other things that were in front of him that he was interested in. But not only that, he wanted to kind of self-indulge in it. Like, he was enjoying it. So he, I kind of feel like he walked away. I said, we'll use clarifiers. But again, his body was never found. Um... They told his family goodbye. They found his truck running, and nobody ever saw him again. So let's see um, what else was going on when, his, when the truck went missing and when they found it. Where were you when the truck when you were missing and the truck was found? Okay, it's a lot of cards, but I'm just going to go with it the best that they fell out. So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, which means he was dumping out um, a cup of emotion, a very, very big cup of emotion, which would be the same as if you were kind of maybe going to release yourself from your family. Um, and then you have the King of Cups. So, yes, he was in a reversed energy of emotion. He was kind of ready to walk away from this because that's why he flipped the Ace the ace of Cups in reverse. There was a third party. Um, there's three of Pentacles here, so that is why he was over it. And then on these two, um, the Tower. He went ahead and went the... Uh, he feels he dodged the tower because he walked away from the car on his own. So since so many disappearances had happened at this point, he felt that um, nobody would think that he would have left on his own, that it would just be this another weird disappearance, which is kind of what it was written off to. But um, he is showing that um, he has let go of whatever he was holding on to before so that he could have this new start and dodge with this tower. So how is he feeling now where he is? Tell me how you feel now where you are, Michael. He feels victorious. He feels like he's kind of won the battle, to be honest. Um, like I said, it's a little bit of overkill, as you can tell. He took a little bit more steps and, and things that he needed to to get his point across. But he feels that he did what he needed to do, and he doesn't regret it, it seems. Unless we clarify it, and it shows something otherwise. So why are the Five of Swords here? Because of fool in reverse. So, yes, he did say he acted irrationally. He kind of took off. Um, and that's kind of what the fool in reverse does. It represents Aries, but it is all fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and see why the fool is in reverse for how he feels now. 
you know him acting that way was is rational. Now he's kind of like, oh, I wish I really probably, you know, he's still looking at like the grass is greener on the other side. Like I said, because now this is the four of cups. So he's like, he's still focusing on something that he doesn't have, but he's like not looking at what he does have again. So it seems like somebody who's just not happy with what they have. It's like they want what they can't have is kind of what I get a feeling of. So let's go ahead and clarify that. Again, I want to thank y'all for joining me for this reading. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to upload the last three last night, but by 3 o'clock, I figured it would be better to just kind of go ahead and upload those now. So um, I hope you're enjoying the reading. Like I said, if you are and you like to be um, informed whenever I do readings like this again in the future, I will start doing more, um, more stuff like this on the ground again, um, actual recordings and things like that. And then I still will be doing lives, but I will be going back to doing uh, original recordings mostly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and clarify for Michael Heron and see uh, what it was that happened the day that he, the morning he left, what happened with his truck and how he feels now. Why is the death cycle in reverse here for what happened that morning and why you felt death went into reverse before you even left? Why were you feeling that way? Because he wanted a brand new beginning with the Ace of Cups. So, yes, he did plan to leave, I feel. And he planned to leave to have this new beginning with the Queen of Pentacles. And that's why he was cheating. Because there was cheating going on. There's a third-party card over here. So, let's see why um, the Queen of Pentacles. Who is the Queen of Pentacles? And is that who was the new restart? Were you getting with her? I don't know his sign, but I would say yes. Because now it's a king and a queen. So he left. He wanted a brand new start with a, another woman. So he lied, steal, did, did pretty much whatever he had to do, which was basically leave his car running to make it look like somebody kidnapped him or he just like vanished so that he could get away with not having to explain anything to his wife um, or anybody else. So let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Yeah, he didn't want he he didn't want to move on with his wife anymore. So that's why that's why they're lying, cheating, and manipulating. Because this is the mother of the zodiac, which is the mother of his child. Um, usually it represents cancer, like I said. But again, it represents the mother. So that would have been the role of his wife in in the life. He was she was the mother to his child and his lover. So why is the seven of cups and the uh, five of cups here for um, in reverse for the day that he left the car running? Because he went into the emperor mode. So he decided that whatever he wanted would go. Because that's what he wanted. Again, the emperor upright, he, if you look at him, he's wearing still boots. He basically doesn't get his hands dirty. He doesn't feel like he has to explain anything to anybody. He's side-eyeing everybody. And he's sitting on his cement throne. So when he is in reverse, he actually does not give a crap about how he makes people feel. He will do and say as he pleases and as he wants. So why is the king of cups here? And why is the three of pinnacles here? Why is he in cups in reverse here with the three of pentacles? Because he wanted a brand new start again. Like I said, now the page of uh, wands can represent a child, but it can also represent somebody um, between their 20s and 30s or just a brand new opportunity in action. So um, that is saying that he was um, wanting, he went into the king of cups, which show, was showing that he had no emotion much towards the situation anymore with the three of pentacles because he wanted a brand new start. And that's why he went into the emperor in reverse and had the four of pentacles and the tower in reverse because that's, like I said, again, he was he was moving on. He just didn't feel the need that he felt like he had to explain anything, so he just did it. So, um, why is the tower and the four of pentacles in reverse? Again, because he was waiting for this new earthly opportunity to come in. Again, here's more page, so it's more immature energy. He was waiting for this earthly, he was waiting for his queen of pentacles to come in. So, that's why he felt justified um, with the five of swords. Even though he felt like he overkilled it, he was happy because he got what he wanted in the end. So why is the Five of Swords here? Because he wanted a happy home with her. He felt like he didn't want to be with his wife anymore. So with the Ten of Cups, he felt that he got more emotion from his mistress than what he did his wife. So he just went ahead and kind of did her dirty and made up some complete lie about what happened to him. That's really what I'm feeling. Um, why is the Four or the Fool here in reverse with the Ten of Cups? Because um, why is the Fool in reverse here for how you how you behaved and why you chose to behave that way? Because he was trying to um, please her with the King of Pentacles, but he did it in a harsh way again with the Fool in Reverse. So he didn't care who he affected in this earthly realm, which would have been his own family, which would have been his wife and his children. He just did whatever it was that he wanted to do to make himself and his mistress happy. So why are the Four of Cups here? Why are the Four of Cups here for how you feel now? Because you would like a brand new start. So I'm get, I think you're getting at the point now, like I said, right here, you're starting to see, he'd realize he kind of made this irrational mistake. 
it was a stupid one. Now he's kind of looking back on what he had and not looking at what he's got in front of him anymore. Or, like, that's right there that hasn't been spilled. And so he's kind of wanting the wheel to spin again. So I don't know. Maybe he's getting ready to leave her and disappear and vanish and do it all over again. I don't know. So let's go ahead and do um, the purpose of life. See what his head card is for that. Again, I want to thank you, Southern Soul Tarot fan, for joining me for this uh, reading. This is missing person number four of the uh, Smoky Mountain National Park disappearances. And um, his name is Michael Heron. He lived in the park on the campsites. And then he drove off that morning and said goodbye to his family. His truck was later found running, um, but um, not far off the campsite. It was still running and there was no struggle. It was just, it looks like he opened the door and kind of walked away, left it running. So let's see what the purpose of life card for what why this happened is. Support. Your li your life your life purpose fully supports you. So he's saying um he felt like whatever decision he made that he was supported and and he didn't feel that he had to explain it to anybody. So um it's kind of what I'm getting. I kind of feel like he was kind of I don't want to say jerk, but I feel like the attitude around him he feels very arrogant. Like he doesn't have to explain anything to anybody. That he thinks he can say and do what he wants and that there's no repercussion towards that. So, um, and again, I don't know him, so I don't know if he was that way. So if he wasn't, you know, if it offends anybody, I apologize. But I'm just picking up his energy and it feels very, um, I did what I wanted to do and I really don't have to explain it to anybody kind of feeling. So um, let's get some angel answers for him about that day and how he felt about it and what he wants us to know how he feels. There's one. So we'll just take these three. Yeah. He is saying that improving health. So basically one of the reasons that he um, left is because he felt that it would help to improve his health and maybe in some sort of way, whether it offered him something or he felt just the situation was something he didn't want to deal with. But he was saying that there, um, that basically, no, he doesn't want to um, talk about it. It's not something that he feels is necessary. It's happened. It's been gone. And if he wanted people to look for him, then he probably would have maybe. I don't know. I just feel like I don't feel like he wants people looking for him. He said there is no need to worry. So as I'm saying, he doesn't want people looking for him. So um, that is going to be Michael Heron's reading. And I said he was the uh, the mis uh, disappearance of uh, the number fourth person to go missing in the uh, Smoky Mountain National Park um, disappearance area. I said that the, the park they went in. So I said, I'm doing it as a series because there's six missing people. So like I said, right now we just finished number four, so we'll be doing number five and six, and then I'll be uploading another case later for y'all. So, um, but let's go ahead and do the singing bowl to clear out any negative energy and bring in positive. So as we made a singing bowl, we'll pick one quote for him, and that will be his message to us about his disappearance. God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So that is his message to um, everyone who is going to um, possibly wonder why he disappeared. Um, yeah, I said, I mean, I'm not saying he disappeared on his own. You know, because I'm not sure of that, but I, I do get a feeling that um, it wasn't, like, there was no str I don't feel like anybody, like, ripped him out of his car or anything. I kind of get, I don't feel any stress around the situation whatsoever. I kind of feel like he might have just was ready to kind of walk away, do his thing, and so he chose that time to do so. So, um, and that's kind of what's playing out as, like I said, he's here with the Queen of Pentacles. He's offering earthly items. He's trying to let go of other things. He's got the seven of swords, he's got the three of pentacles, the seven of cups, um, the five of, of cups, the four of cups, you know, the happy home. So everything pretty much here is telling me that he was just unhappy in his personal life. He was already going into it with the death cycle reverse. He was already ready to end it for something brand new. 
and he wanted it to be a brand new thing with a, a brand new couple. And I said, I don't know if he was a fire sign, but like I said, again, a king and a queen makes a pair. So that's what he left for. So that will be the reading for um, Michael Heron. Like I said, and he went missing in 2008 in the Smoky Woods Mountain National Park. So um, he will be number four um, on the disappearance list. And then I will have five and six uploaded next. So y'all have a good one, Southern Soul Tarot fam, and I will talk to you soon.